Yeah, they little Wooda Free Hand Entertainment. Just jumped out of the pool with Dirty Glove Blast. Slap YSL for life. What it do, Rizzle fam? You know, Young Thug and his label YSL was accused of participation in various criminal gang activities, including racketeering. Aside from Thug, 28 other people at YSL were also hit with the RICO case. After the news about Young Thug's arrest broke, it wasn't a matter of whether someone was going to snitch or not. It was just a matter of when and who. And the word on the streets is that the snitching that was happening within the gang itself, and one of the names that was really being thrown around that was the YSL affiliate of... Lil Woody. So did Lil Woody really snitch on the entire YSO crew? And if so, why did he do it? Well, in case you didn't know, not long after the arrest of Young Thug, his house was subjected to a search during which police found drugs and machine guns. This led to six more charges in addition to the first two counts, leaving Thug in a pretty bad position. Believe it or not, a Fulton County District Attorney, Fannie Willis, even said that she sees the indictment of Jeffrey Lamar Williams, or Young Thug, as her win in the battle against street gang criminals. What's more, Fannie Williams also added that despite the criticism, she will keep on using Young Thug's lyrics as evidence against him and advise people to avoid confessing crimes on rap lyrics if they don't want them to be used. Using song lyrics as evidence against those that are being charged is nothing uncommon when it comes to the incriminating hip-hop artists. Rap lyrics have been used in many cases against artists, including 6 9 Draco the Ruler, Boosie, and Bobby Schmurder. And Thug's indictment highlights the lyrics such as Ready for War, Like I Am Russia, I Killed His Man in Front of His Mama, and Cooking White Brick as evidence of conspiracy. However, that doesn't necessarily mean that there's no help for young Thug, as his lawyer Brian Steele declared that he would fight to his last drop of blood to clear young Thug's name. Mr. Williams has committed no violation of law whatsoever. Steele said in a statement for CBS News. We will fight this case ethically, legally, and zealously. Mr. Williams will be clear. Now, how is it possible that Brian Steele seems so confident about clearing Thug's name even though he's being charged with multiple counts? Well, the authorities charged Thug with a RICO act. In addition to that, he's also charged by authorities of participation in criminal street gang activity. Not only that, but the Thug's additional indictment also accuses the YSL gang of being affiliated with the gang called Bloods. However, to get a better grasp of who Young Thug was and why everything ended up this way, we're going to go back in time to the beginning of his career and even peek a little bit into his early life. Young Thug had a pretty difficult childhood, and it may have been one of the reasons his lyrics are the way they are. He grew up among 10 other siblings that have different biological fathers. That's why his mother had a very difficult time providing for all of them. Not to forget that he grew up in the middle of crime and had to watch his older brother getting shot right in front of him. What's more, another one of his brothers is still serving his term to this day and he was accused of murder. Thug also attended elementary school, but only up until the sixth grade as he was expelled after he broke the arm of his teacher, after which he was transferred to put in detention for the next four years. Once he became a teenager, he started developing dozens of really bad habits, like gambling. Obviously, Thug has always loved the thrill of risk. Not long after he started gambling, he got into that street life. He was only about 17 years old when he became a father, and this was the period when he figured out he had talent for music, especially rapping. This was the moment Thug decided not to live in poverty anymore and to take control over his life. Young Thug's career began back in 2010, and ever since then, he has collaborated with many successful rappers such as Birdman, Gucci Mane, Waka Flocka Flame. 2013 was the year Young Thug released a mixtape called 1017 Thug that caught the attention of a huge number of people that made his music mainstream at parties and nightclubs. Many he thought that this mixtape was just a one-time breakthrough and that he wouldn't have much luck after that. Well, less than a year later, he released a single called Stoner, which made him even more popular. Over the following years, he definitely proved his position in the industry, and he began collaborating with even bigger names like Trick Daddy and Travis Scott. In 2016, he founded the label YSL, which originally stood for Young Stoner Life. However, over time, he started using the term slime more and more, and that's why YSL now stands for Young Young slime life. And once again, the image of the indictment paperwork hit the internet, spread faster than the speed of light. Not only that, but as the image of the paperwork was not blurry enough, anyone who wanted to read it could just squint their eyes and do so. Paperwork states Kenneth Copeland, better known to us as Lil Woody, was the witness in the murder of the 26-year-old rapper Donovan Thomas, also known as Peanut. If you didn't know the background of this story, you're probably wondering, what does Peanut's death have to do with Lil Woody snitching on YSL? Well, according to the DEA, the murder of Donovan Thomas was actually a drive-by shooting. Aside from Peanut, three more people that were hit that moment, one of them being only 14 years old. 
However, Peanut was in the most serious and critical condition as he took several hits to the chest and thus he was immediately transferred to the nearest hospital where he passed away. Due to the fact that Donovan Thomas was a member of the Inglewood family, the war between them and YSL gang got even worse after his death. The police says that the Peanut's death caused over 37 acts of retaliation, resulting in four more deaths. The event actually dates back to the 10th of January 2015. Allegedly, Shannon Jackson, also known by his stage name SB, shot Peanut in front of a barber shop. Jackson fired his weapon from a moving vehicle as it passed by. He was actually a member of YSL gang and many people think that this was the event that got Inglewood family and YSL into a war. However, that isn't exactly true as five days before that incident, a member of the Inglewood family assaulted and tried to rob a YSL member. This happened at Club Crucial in Atlanta and the investigators believe that this is the reason why SB killed Peanut, and the very reason this war began in the first place. Well, this is the moment we get back to why we are actually here, Kenneth Lil Woody Copeland. Now, at Peanut's death, Lil Woody was one of the witnesses who saw Young Thug at McDonald's. However, the story Woody told the investigators was way more detailed and specific. He told investigators that he was with Young Thug and then he rented a car that was later used for a drive-by. He also added that he was at the parking lot at McDonald's right after the incident happened. The crime scene was about 10 minutes away from the parking lot and according to Woody's story, Young Thug drove to the parking lot in a white Jeep. A few moments after that, four men got out, which Woody identified as Nard, Yacht Gotti, Scarface, and SB. And not long after that, Scarface got into Woody's car and told him that they just targeted Peanut. Several witnesses stated immediately that after the shooting, the suspected shooters, including Young Thug, went to Thug's condo. Allegedly, they packed themselves and headed to Miami. What's even more intriguing is that all those statements were confirmed by detectives. Cell phone records actually show several suspects and members of the gang calling Thug not only before but after the incident as well. After tracking Thug's phone, detectives also managed to get GPS coordinates showing that they really went to Thug's condo. All in all, if you pay attention to the paperwork, you can see that Lil Woody was a snitch. Not the only snitch, as there were several witnesses listed. Reacting to this one, user said, Woody snitched on dudes who was killing for him and trying to save his life at the same time? That's crazy. Another person said, the amount of snitching in this YSL case crazy as fuck. They went to war behind Lil Woody and he's taking the whole gang down. Young Thug ain't ever getting out of jail. As of now, we still don't know what's gonna happen to Young Thug and whether his lawyer will be able to clear his name or not. What we do know for sure is that there are several people that snitched on YSL gang and that the war between them and the Inglewood family is just getting more loose. But what y'all think was gonna happen? Let us know your opinion down in the comments section below. If you like this video, check out this next one. Be sure to click like and subscribe. And as always, remember to keep it Rizzle.